Dr. Fauci, you oversaw one of the most invasive regimes of domestic policy the U.S. has ever seen. Under your leadership, NIAID allowed disgraced characters like Dr. Peter Daszak to use millions in taxpayer dollars to conduct risky gain-of-function experiments in Wuhan, China. The actions of EcoHealth and Dr. Daszak call into question the integrity of NIAID NIAID's policies and procedures as a whole, as well as your role, Dr. Fauci, as NIAID's director. You did sign off on his research grant. Under the guise of investigating the pandemic's origins, House Republicans have abdicated their responsibility to objectively examine how COVID-19 came to be and instead weaponized concern about a lab-related origin to fuel sentiment against our nation's scientists and public health officials for partisan gain. They have done so with one particular public health official in mind, Dr. Anthony Fauci. Children in school were put in plastic bubbles because of your science, your repulsive evil science. The accusation being circulated that I influenced these scientists to change their minds by bribing them with millions of dollars in grant money is absolutely false and simply preposterous. The second issue is a false accusation that I tried to cover up the possibility that the virus originated from a lab. In fact, the truth is exactly the opposite. I now quote, from an email that I sent to Professor Farrar on February 1, 2020. Quote, Jeremy, I just got off the phone with Christian Anderson, and he related to me his concern about the furin site mutation in the spike protein of the virus. I told him that as soon as possible, he and Eddie Holmes should get a group of evolutionary biologists together to carefully examine the data to determine if his concerns are validated, and they should report it to the appropriate authorities. And on February 24th, 2022, Dr. Morenz wrote, it will be a small consolation to hear the following, but in my face-to-face -face meeting with Tony this morning, he once again brought up, as he usually does, your plight, Peter. Did you ever have any discussions with Dr. Morenz about protecting EcoHealth or helping restore funding? Not at all. I don't know what, I, to be honest with you, Mitch, I just don't know what Dr. Morenz is talking about with that. We agree the vaccine saved hundreds of thousands of lives. Could issuing these mandates and removing the notion of informed consent from some certain sects of the citizenry lead to vaccine hesitancy? Yeah, I, I, I mentioned this, in, in, I believe, in, in the TI. Mm -hmm. That, as a matter of fact, that's something that I think we need to go back now when we do an, an after-the-event evaluation about whether or not, given the psyche of the country and the pushback that you get from those types of things, we need to reevaluate the cost-benefit ratio of those types of things.